Hi everybody, Kevin from the Awareness.Website. Awareness Tai Chi video here coming at ya. Uh, this week is move 102, turn and sweep lotus. So hang in there, we'll be right back. Alright, so, hey, apologize, this video is coming out a little bit late. Uh, we had a couple of our viewers drop in, we were doing some, uh, uh, working with them with some Tai Chi and international viewers stopped in to visit, and, and someone from Calgary, uh, some wonderful people, and we spent some great time, we are doing lots of stuff, lots of Tai Chi with them and stuff, so, um, love doing that kind of thing, so by all means, if you're ever in the area, let us know, and speaking of that, at the end of the video, watch out, we got a special announcement. So, um, let's get into the move. So, move 102, we're getting so close to the end. This is the last, second last move that is uh, different than any of the others, and then the rest is repeat. So, we're so close. Um, so, turn and sweep Lotus. This is the fanciest kick in the set. Um, whenever we do demos and stuff, I mean, people are watching, you're going through the moves, and oh yeah, so nice, so calming. And then you turn, and you do that last kick, and it's like, bang, and everybody wakes up, and it's, oh, I've even had some people applaud, and you do demos for schools and kids and stuff, and that's their favorite kick. They all want to learn how to do turn and sweep lotus, so uh, we're going to do that today. So a few little things um, with the kick. You want to take your time with it, of course. Um, so going from the, um, what's that move? Retreat your eyed tiger. <laughs> Shelly didn't know either. <laughs> so retreat your eyed tiger goes into turn and sweep lotus. So the idea is this turn, the turn of the body. So when we're doing this exercise, we're turning our body. And so that's what we want to have going on as we're turning. We want to keep that turn going stepping to maintain that turn, that rotation. Um, so we'll, we'll get into it here. So we'll, we'll start with the feet, the steps, the direction of the steps and everything, and work our way up. So retreat to ride tigers, going to the left, pushing out. So you're going to drop the hands, keep them in front of the body, even with the shoulders. And you're going to turn and pivot on the left foot till you're pigeon-toed. Then you're going to step around with this foot, pakwa. And you'll continue to turn and step pigeon-toed again. So you're walking in a straight line. So from this front foot here, this is going to establish your line straight back. So, from this retreat to ride tiger, this foot will determine the line you're stepping on. So you're going to be stepping in this direction, pigeon toed, so you're still in this line, and then doing the final kick, and then stepping down, um, no, pardon me, stepping down straight ahead for the next move, uh, shoot tiger with bow. So, um, Pay attention to that. Don't speed up the turn. Take your time with the steps. Uh, a lot of people will think it's a fast move. We've, there's been lots of conversations. You can do it fast for sure. Um, but you want to keep the same rhythm with the rest of the, the set. You turn, hands go to the right side, sweep the foot, step down. Technically, both hands slap the foot. Not everybody can do that. Sometimes some people will be slapping the, the shin bone. Some people will have to slap their thigh. You can't get the leg up and that's fine. Don't slap the knee because you can't upset the, the kneecap. You don't want to damage anything there. Um, so the thigh, the shin, or both feet, both feet hit the hands, no, both hands hit the feet, <laughs> the foot. <laughs> um, don't overturn. Uh, so when you, when you come around with this turn here, 
don't twist the body too far. Keep the balance. The hands go to the right side, but it's the upper body that turns. So much like this exercise, the spine will only turn so much, and then it's pulling the hips. So when you get to that point where the hands are to this side, that's the cue where the foot will come up and meet the hands. Um, try not to scrunch. <laughs> no scrunching. No swoopies. No scrunching. So when you, when you do the kick, quite often what happens for a lot of people is they will scrunch down, They'll scrunch to meet their foot because they can't get their foot up high enough. Don't. Slap your thigh. Slap your shin. Slap the foot. But keep the body upright. Relax into the hips and let the foot go and the hands slap. So they balance. So when the, the hands come across, they meet the foot in the middle and then come over to the left side with two fists for shoot tiger with bow. So, yeah, lots of stuff to pay attention to, so break it down. Go one piece at a time. So again, from a treat to ride tiger, you push from the left leg. So don't start swinging the arms. It's not an arm swing. You get the hands set in front of the body, turn the body, and pivot on the heel. Pa qua step, but you keep the turn going. Pa qua pigeon toed step hands to the right side, the hands and foot meet in the middle, and then the hands come over to the left side. So when you get to there, after you've kicked, sit down and step. So which means you turn this way to slap and cross, and then the body turns and sits into the left hip, into the left leg. Don't just fall into the front foot. Sometimes you get people that will come around. They'll get to here. They'll scrunch and then fall into the foot. Keep the balance in the left leg. And step. So you turn, sit, and step. Balance is a bit of an issue. You can put your foot down for stability, sit down, and then step. Nothing wrong with that. So if you come around, paqua, pigeon toed, hands to the right side, sweep the foot, put the foot down, sit, step, and then go in to shoot tiger with bow. Um, you, uh, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, it's better to keep it stable, keep the balance in the left foot, than falling into it. Um, you may make a little bit of a pause to put the foot down and sit and then step. That's okay. Take your time with it. Don't rush it. This is not the big crescent kick. I remember my first workshop in Orangeville I had this debate with this other fellow. He was a kung fu guy, and he was absolutely convinced that this was a big sweeping crescent kick. And I was saying, yeah, no, I don't think so. I think it just comes up, the hand, foot, meet, and then you put it down again. And so we called over uh, an instructor who was helping do with the workshop, and uh, yeah, he kind of clarified it, that yes, there is a bit of an arc to it, so when the foot's coming, up there there is a bit of an arc but it's not a big sweeping hip swing kind of kick it's it, keeping the core balanced turns and then turns back so it turns turns back so it's just the spine turning and then spiraling down into the left leg to step so don't get too carried away don't speed up the kick you know don't get into this sort of whew, it's it's, it's not a pirouette. You're stepping and moving through the spine, spiraling through the spine as you go. Uh, 
Okay, so that's lots of detail, lots of things to pay attention to with the stepping and stuff. Um, so if you've got any questions, by all means, don't hesitate to email us, um, ask your questions. I'll help you out as much as I can with text. You know, if we need to do a video or a Skype session, no problem there. We've been doing lots of that and that seems to work quite well too. So, um, so let's do some follow through and then we'll get to the special special announcement okay so we're going to take it from as if you were behind me which means i'll be going to this corner and we'll turn around and i'll be doing the kick in that direction so you can follow along with me and then we'll change some angles so retreat to ride tiger it starts here or ends here so drop the hands down so the hands are in front the palm turned out pivot Pakwa step, come around pigeon toe, keep the turn going, hands go to the right side, sweep the foot, step down, I'm going to shoot tiger with bow. You can just finish it up with that, but that'll be next week's video, <laughs> doing shoot tiger. So we'll go into more detail with that. Okay, retreat to ride tiger. Isn't that terrible? You retreat to ride the tiger and then you shoot the tiger with the bow. <laughs> Hands to the right side, sweep the foot, sit down, step, and then shoot tiger. Okay, one more time. Right, Shelly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is to the 45. Push from the left leg, drop the hands, palms turned out. Pakwa step, pigeon toed. Hands to the right side, sweep the foot, sit, step, punch forward. So let's do it this way, as though you're right beside me. So we're going to the left corner. Drop the hands, pivot, turning the body. Pakwa step, keep turning, pigeon toed, hands to the right side, sweep the foot. Step down, shoot tiger. One more time. So, retreat to ride tiger. Hands in front of the body as you turn. Pakwa step, keep the hands coming around with the turn. Hands to the right side, sweep. Step down, and punch. Okay, so lots to play with. Again, another move that you can do at a short space. And it's lots of fun. Again, don't get dizzy. <laughs> but practice it lots. Get the balance. Take your time with it. Okay, so we've come into a situation where we have been working with lots of groups, uh, you know, doing small workshops and stuff. Uh, some of the groups have difficulty finding a location, um, uh, just getting things arranged or whatever. So what we decided is uh, we're going to do a workshop here in Medicine Hat. So we'd like to invite all you guys. So if you're in the area, um, we'd love to have you come. No charge to the workshop. Cost of the workshop is whatever it costs you to get here. Uh, so we're in Medicine Hat, so go on Google Maps, Google Medicine Hat. Uh, we'll give you details on the address and stuff. Um, it'll be on August 25th, so that'll be a Saturday. It'll be 10 to 5, so we're starting at 10 o'clock. We'll go to 5, we'll have a lunch break in there. Um, just going to do lots of Tai Chi for the day. So I would love to have you guys come from wherever you are. Um, especially if you're in the area and you're close enough, um, it'll be a great day thing for you. If people need to stay over Saturday night to travel back on Sunday, no problem. We'll figure something out for you. <laughs> Find some accommodations. Got lots of floor space. We've got a studio space. <laughs> you can camp out in our studio. A um, couple other different arrangements we can make. So, um, yeah. So. We're going to put more information out. We'll uh, put out a, a Facebook thing. And so email us if you're interested. Uh, again, no cost. 
uh, other than whatever it takes. So if you can carpool, if you if you need to fly in, we'll pick you up at the airport. Um, whatever needs to happen, we'd love to see you. Uh, August 25th, and so stay tuned for more details, and looking forward for you guys to show up. So until then, check out the website, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to the channel, send us our email, your emails. Uh, love to hear from you. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.